Hey teachers, I've got a great project I want to tell you all about and you and your students can get involved with it. So um, this is just a quick video by the way on the second channel. I'm at home in my study, should be writing my book, um, but that's not been announced yet. So you did not hear that from me. Anyway, I set up a organization called Think Maths. And the idea behind this is it would make free resources for schools as well as sending people into schools to run like workshops and talks and do sessions. Uh, both of which are now done by Zoe Griffiths, who was a maths teacher, and now she works with me at Think Maths. And Zoe had the idea of doing a big collaborative Colats super map that your students can contribute to. And we're calling this the Great Colats Collab. All the details are on the Think Mouse website. So if you go to the Think Mouse website slash colats hyphen collab, you can get all of it there. You don't have to watch this video. I won't mind if you stop now. But if you want some more details, it's based on the Colats conjecture. I'll link to some videos below. Both Numberphile and Veritasium have done videos on this. You can go check it out. Uh, in short, though, it's an algorithm that you apply to a number and you see what happens. So let's say you started with the number uh, 13. And the rules are, if it's even, you half it, because you can. And if it's odd, you can't half it, so you multiply it by three and add one. Weird rules, don't question them. They're just, they're the rules. The point is, they're very simple rules. And you then follow that. So 13, not even, multiply it by three, 39, add one, 40. Ah, now we're in an even town. Half of that is 20, half of that is 10, half of that is far back in odds. So now we multiply it by three, 15, add one, 16. Now, very even town. All those crazy powers of two, and eventually you hit one, which would then go back to four, and then you, you loop forever. So we just say you hit one, and it ends. And uh, we call this a map. This is the map for 13. So if you keep applying that algorithm until you can't anymore, because you've hit one, this is the map for 13. We could, however, build up a super map. So this, uh, several different maps combined. You can still see the map for 13 hidden in there as a sub map, but it's been combined with other ones to kind of show the network of how you can start with a number, apply the Colatz conjecture, and eventually end up at one. And you can get far more complicated maps. There are a bunch online. This is an interactive one by Jason Davies. If I set it playing, it gradually builds up different length orbits, which is just numbers which take that many steps to end up at one. And actually, you know what? I'm going to speed that up a little. I'm just going to drag that. Look, look at it go. And then eventually you have this crazy map of how all the different numbers link together. And this is a similar but color-coded image on Wikipedia. I'll link to this below too, and you can zoom right in. Look at this. Oh my goodness. And so this shows you all these different numbers of different lengths and how many steps they take until they end up uh, going down to one. But we want to build our own super map by students sending in individual maps that we will then cut up digitally and put together into one possibly terrifyingly giant super map. So if you go to Think Mouse website, there's a bunch of resources Zoe have made, and you could just use those to do a lesson about the Colatz conjecture. Or you can get your students to pick a three-digit number, do their own map, and then send a scan of that into us. And Zoe's going to put them all together into a giant super map. Your students can then find where their bit is in the super map, and I'll do a follow-on video a couple months from now, once we're all done, and uh, you can you, I'll show off the amazing super map. I'm pretty excited. We have some rules, of course, so this can be remotely achievable in a normal human lifetime. So for a start, everyone has to use a white background. So that way we can easily like crop them out and put them together digitally. So you start with a three-digit number, you follow that down on your white background, and uh, you can use felt-tip pen, that's fine. You can use colors, uh, but try and keep it neat and reasonably compact. Not too close, so things are hard to see and overlap, but compact enough that uh, so we can then cut it up digitally and put them together into the giant map. And and then that's it. Go to the website, get the details. You need to send them in by the 28th of September. And we're only accepting submissions by teachers. So we don't want all students sending stuff in. They send stuff to you. You then send it in to us. And all the details about how to do that are on the website. It's a Dropbox folder. It's reasonably straightforward. Uh, and then um, once we realize how much we've overcommitted to this ridiculous idea, we'll eventually end up with a, a collaborative super map. Who knows what that's going to look like? And we'll make it available. So there you are. Head over to the website, get all the information. And a little bonus bit here. If your students, or indeed you, come up with a particularly interesting map or super map, 
that's let's say more creative than just writing it on a bit of paper or they do a very ornate one on a bit of paper or they do like an interpretive dance I don't know, I'm making this up. If they do something which is not appropriate to combine into the big collaborative super map, but you think it's an amazing artistic representation of the Colbat's conjecture, then you can send that in as well. And I'll try to show some of those in the final uh, follow on video. So I think that's everything. Do check out the website. There's all the rules and details are on there so we can make this work. There's also a spreadsheet which will give you all the different three digit numbers and how many steps they take before they hit one, which is handy both in terms of handing out numbers to students or let them just pick one their own. Let them go wild. Why not? Four digits. Knock yourself out. Ah, don't tell Zoe I said that. Uh, uh, or you can use it to verify because we're not going to have time to, to like verify every single number everyone has sent in. So uh, teachers, you are our verification process. Please double check at a minimum that the numbers have the correct number of steps. Possibly double check the working out for us. And one day we'll have a massive Colats collab super map i'm very excited the follow-on video should be with you in a couple months you've got a month get going more details on the website